He was 6'2", sandy blonde hair, green eyes. And I loved him. Oh, great. If there's anything I can do to help. Okay, thanks. Thank you for coming. <sighs> I never understood why he was friends with you. Did you share title on anything? Car, house. Now I'm in a rental, which I can't afford by myself. Don't slow down! We could totally use a blender. What are you doing? You should be more comfortable in bed. The only way she'd be more comfortable is you shot her with a trap gun. You gotta be more comfortable. This was totally your fault. Where's the paperwork for this big account? What big account? I bet you he was just waiting to spring it on you. We said for richer or for poorer. We're the former! Excuse me, I'm looking for someone who knows Grady Douglas. You know her, don't you? She's just the mother of his kid. Well, that's unfortunate. It's just a ride, it's just a ride. Nice dress. I never got a chance to wear it. It's a girl thing. Enjoy the ride. Everything in here is a chi blocker. You can't emotionally process things if your chi is congested. So tonight, I'm gonna make the most cleansing dinner. You know what Grady never knew about me is that I steal library books. Also, I can put my whole fist in my mouth. You don't want to see it. It's a little Tracy Lords. Also, I made it with a girl once. Ha! Uh... I owe you an apology. Just one? I mean the funeral. Yeah, if it hadn't been for you, that would have been one great day. Oh, breathe. Just breathe. Your color is like coming back in your aura is like a dusty. <laughs> oh God. You're not who I thought you were. Neither are you. Catch and release. Death and life are one. There falls no shadow where there shines no sun. Who's that? I don't know, but there's an excellent quote on the Red Zinger box. We might as well be honest with each other. Just tell me, did you sleep with her? Okay, I slept with her. You happy? Did you say, am I happy? You gotta be. Oh, oh God, here he comes. Oh, Jasper, what's the story with you two anyway? I'm head over heels, you know? Everybody, may I introduce the newly engaged Jasper Blue? I hate my horrible life. Iris and Amanda are in exactly the same place. Where do I want to go? By myself? Depressed at Christmas. Just 6,000 miles apart. Home exchange. We switch houses, cars, everything. Bingo. I need you to answer this. Are there any men in your town? Perfect. I'm here. As one door closes, that'll be interesting. Another one opens. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm Miles. I'm Graham. I was his brother. Do you want some company? Yeah, love some. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Boob grace. <laughs> that was accidental. You know, Graham, I just broke up with someone. And considering that you showed up and you're insanely good looking and probably won't remember me anyway, I'm thinking we should have sex. If you want. Is that a trick question? Seems I had it all wrong. It turns out you'll go somewhere new and meet people who make you feel worthwhile again. It's Christmas Eve and we are going to celebrate being young and being alive. Be Iris, hi, it's Amanda. Can you hold on for a sec? Sorry, that was Amanda. Find out how she is. Can you tell him I'm good? How's she doing? What's he been up to? Hold, please. I can't believe that you have had sex with the woman staying in my house. <gasps> He told you that? Oh my god, oh my god! I'll be at your side. There's no need to the holiday. I can't believe you've had sex with Amanda. She's been there five days. And then you meet her and immediately get into her knickers. Still me.
met my father for the first time when I was 28 years old. When I had children, my children were going to know who their father was. Yeah. Chris Gardner was doing his best. We don't need two. We don't need one. Maybe next quarter. It's possible. But his best hey! Wait! wasn't enough. Man, I got two questions for you. What do you do and how do you do it? I'm a stockbroker. Stockbroker. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna let you hang on to my car for the weekend, but I need it back for Monday. Feed the meter. <laughs> I need the rent. I can't wait anymore. I need you out of here in the morning. You gotta trust me, all right? I trust you. Because I'm getting a better job. Ooh, yeah. Let me see if I can find you an application for our internship. Yeah. Did mom leave because of me? Mom left because of mom, and you didn't have anything to do with that. Ooh, There's no salary. No, I was not aware of that. My circumstances have changed some. Dad, where are we going? I don't know. Last year, we had an intern score on 90% on the written exam. He wasn't chosen. It's not a simple pass-fail. You're not quitting on this yet, are you? Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Yeah. Not even me. All right? All right. Jay says you're pretty determined. Where are you going? Go to the hospital. I'm in a competitive internship at Dean Witter. He said you're smart. This thing's impossible. I can do it. No, you can't. No one can. You're a good papa. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. Once upon a time on television, everyone looked the same, acted the same, and lived the same middle-class life. Then came Norman Lear. Now on DVD, the shows that changed the face of television from legendary producer Norman Lear. All in the Family introduced America's first equal opportunity bigot. You are a meathead. <laughs> Dead from the neck up. Meathead. Maude became TV's first outspoken feminist. I could have been violated. By who? God will get you. <laughs> Good Times gave us our first look at life in the projects. A dynamite! The Jeffersons were the first black TV family to move on up. How about a game of charades? Oh, couldn't we play something else? Yeah, let's play pin a tail on the hockey. <laughs> Mary Hartman was the first to make a satire of the soaps. You want to do it? Do what? It. Now? One Day at a Time was the first show to feature a single mother raising her girls alone. What kind of a guy is Brad? Nice, normal, healthy American boy. Can you let her go out with him? And Sanford showed his son how to make cash and talk trash. I need help. I'm just a junk man, not a plastic surgeon. Own these classic comedies that changed the face of television. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. From revolutionary producer Norman Lear. Rotten, miserable, sick, and completely brilliant. Now available on DVD. We all live in the age of information. We're sitting on the most perfect beach in the world, and all we can think about is where... Where can I hook up my mom? Every trace of our existence is computerized. Everything about us is encoded somewhere on a complex network of information. Computers your life, aren't they? Yes. Perfect hiding place. Computer analyst Angela Bennett was just doing her job. Oh my God.
when she stumbled onto something. What is this? She never should have seen. I plugged it in and I'm staring at the personal medical files of the Undersecretary of Defense, Michael Bergstrom. Someone's tapped into the system. How long would it take to track her? Depends on how long she stays online. Something. Why would anybody want to do any of this? That reaches farther than she could ever imagine. They hack into computers and they cause this chaos. Wall Street. The market panicked as officials suspended trading. The Department of Water and Power in Atlanta. LAX. We've lost radar contact. Now. It's fun to go. They're manipulating her world. You can make a reality, won't you choose? According to the Department of Motor Vehicles, you're Ruth Marks. They, they, they've screwed with my information and, and my fingerprints. I don't understand. Why me? Infiltrating her life. Find whoever she's been speaking to. No, he was not a diabetic. Where? And erasing her identity. We've got an outstanding warrant for Ruth Marks on federal charges. I am Angela Bennett. Just give us the disc and we'll give you your life back. She has the evidence. She's copied the disc. Clever girl. But they have the power. <laughs> this summer, Sandra Bullock is caught in the net. A film by Urban Winkler. Oh, God, it's Saturday. We're late for my sister's wedding. Gwen knew how to get a party started. Oh, no. Don't worry, I'll replace it. She just didn't know. Cake store. When to stop. Your sentence was for 28 days of rehab or jail time. We carry our own bags here. This isn't the Sheridan. Smile! Everyone, this is Gwen. I'm thinking booze. Painkillers. I have to pick just one. So what's the deal here? People actually get stuff? You know, if your counselor catches you using, you can get kicked out of here. I don't plan on discussing it with him. Too late. This place is horrible. It is miles away from anywhere. People chant. How did you feel? Uh, I... 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 Okay. It's a good start. It's a good start. <laughs> it's really sort of helped me stay sober off and on. This could be your liver right now. Do you have plans for dinner? You ever heard of a deviated spectrum? It's ulcerated septum. Lean on me. I'm not like those people out there. I can control myself. I can't. If I, if that's, if I wanted to, I could. If that's what I wanted, I could. I can. I can. Columbia Pictures presents... My name's Gwen. I'm an alcoholic. Sandra Bullock. Don't let him tell you there's something wrong with you. You're fine. I don't feel fine. Well, of course you don't feel fine. You're in deliverance country, surrounded by a bunch of sober freaks. In the story of a woman... I don't need your help. That's not what your neck sign says. <laughs> and the first 28 days... If I'm gonna do this, everything has to be different. ...of the rest of her life. 28 days. I hope he makes it. Now, statistically, it's good for us if he goes back to using, odds-wise. No one thought a guy like Nick Persons would settle down. He's a family man. Ooh. There's something that we really need to talk about this morning. Oh. Oh. Who's about to get a big surprise. Coco, get down. <laughs> Honey, I'm pregnant. So they're leaving the city behind. Where's the mall? You need to get a little fresh air and open spaces. I think I'm going to be sick. Now? Right now. Pregnant lady coming through. For a new life 
in the country. The place was built in 1889. It's a really amazing place to raise a family. Can we really afford this house? She is a fixer-upper. Guess what? I can do the fixing. We'll take it. Now they're getting close to nature. You and me, it's nothing to be scared of. But that! and experiencing the joys of family life. I can fix that. Mm hmm I think you should just call the contractor. <laughs> Are we done yet? Now do you want the number? You're the local real estate guy. I'm also the local contractor. You got dry rot. Dry what? He may be in over his head. What is this? Phase one. But he's about to realize he's not just building a home, he's building a family. You know, it's been kind of hard making the move and all. I think you're a cool son. And you're a cool dad. Kevin! You messed with the wrong kid! Would you like to give thanks? Why, are we going home? I got this. I give thanks to all the wonderful creatures that surround us. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah! Thank you for the support of my family. <laughs> and most of all, for putting us in this beautiful home. At least the table's strong. I can fix that. Are we done yet? Honey, what was that? The raccoon. You think you bad? I got it! For four years, they've been the daddies of daycare. Dad, feed me pants. Get used to it, son, because when I'm good and old, you're going to have to change my diaper. But now, Charlie and Phil are taking their kids to camp. But you hate the outdoors. But I can spend as much time with Ben as possible. This summer. Woo! <gasps> Welcome to Camp Driftwood. Okay, now if you all could just sign these waivers acknowledging you've been briefed on safety. Becca. I don't believe that a personal injury waiver executed by a child is a legally binding document. Carl. Please don't let the other kids tease your brother. What am I, Dr. Phil? Juliet. Mullet. Business up front, party in the back, baby. Jack. What's his problem? Oh, man, Hopper's gonna blow. From Revolution Studios. Time to give them a summer they'll never forget. Oh! They won't forget that. They're back in business. Back in action. Hey, stop fighting! Oh, get on the bus! And ready oh. to show Mother Nature. Oh, no. Everybody off the bus! Who's her daddy? Cuba Gooding Jr. Try it. Tastes good, right? Oh. Oh. No! Daddy Day Camp. What else could go wrong? No, 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 no. Please, don't say that. Oh. That's why I said don't say that. I think we're gonna need some more toilet paper. Coming soon.